All right, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to continue our discussion on decimals, fractions, and percents and get into something that's a little bit more advanced with repeating decimals and fractional percents. An example of a repeating decimal is uh, right here with 0 0.3 repeating. That little bar above the 3 means that that 3 repeats on and on and on. So uh, what this bar means essentially is that we're just shortening this notation making it uh, uh, a little bit easier to work with um, but what it really means is this so the threes just repeat and repeat and repeat on and on and on to infinity okay that's what that notation means all right so uh, I'm gonna erase that so we don't have that in our way. Okay. And then another thing to cover is when I said fractional percents, that's like this example here, 56.25 percent, 62 and one half percent, etc. Um, and then we have a repeating decimal percentage here that we need to work with. So just nothing, these aren't anything to be scared of. It is a little bit different, so we do need to uh, work on it, and I'll give you some strategies to attack these, okay? So let's start up here with point 0.3 repeating. And remember what we said. We said that that just technically means point 0.3333333, okay? All right, so remember, uh, let's attack it this way. We'll start by converting this decimal to a percent, okay? So what this really means is 0.33333, right? And we said that one of the easiest things to do with the percent is to move the decimal two places to the right and add a percent sign. So the way that we need to do that then is simply we've got our 0.3. Remember this repeats on and on and on. So we can just move our decimal place two places to the right, one, two, and add a percent sign. That gives us 33.3%. It would be acceptable to leave it as just rounded to 33%. That would be fine too. All right, so we can write that in here. So nothing scary or difficult about that, right? We'll just leave that that way. That's perfectly acceptable. All right. And then as a fraction, uh, and uh, algebraically, we I can show you how to do this, but that's a little more advanced than we're, we're at right now because this is not for algebra. So you will get to that in a year or two. But for now, I'm going to teach you a trick when, and it's, it's not anything magic, it's mathematically sound, but it is a process that you can follow to tackle any repeating decimal and it's very simple. Basically all you have to do is take, in this case we have one one number that repeats over and over again, that's the three. And since we only have one, all we have to do is take that number, whatever it is, and put it over nine. Okay, put it over nine. So in this case we take our three that's repeating, put it over nine. Okay, and that's going to give us our fraction. So three to we can reduce that more. Three goes into three one time. Three goes into nine three times one third. So our fraction is one third. And we can do the uh, uh, the arithmetic there. Do the division to prove it. But just to make it quicker, I'm going to bring in a, a calculator here. This is the basic calculator. One divided by three. As you can see, 0.3333, and that would keep going if the calculator had more decimal places. But you, you can see that that um, is accurate. Okay. So again, the procedure was just to take the number that repeats, put it over 9. Now, one thing I want to, uh, since I'm arming you with this uh, strategy, you need to know that if more if there was more than one uh, repeating portion, so let's say it was instead of just point 0.3, it was point 0.32, 
repeating that repeated over and over again then you would have to since you have two digits in the repeat that repeat two different digits it, they must be different two different digits you would need to put that then fraction wise over two nines 99 in other words okay and then if you had 0.323 let's make that 0.324 you need to put that over three nines that's repeating 0.324 whoops 324 over 999 okay but for what you're going to see most of the time you'll just have a single digit that repeats okay I hope that wasn't too confusing with you it's very simple you just have to remember the rule and again algebraically we can work with that in a year or two when you get there but for now that is the simple rule that works okay now I wanted to contrast that with 0.3 or 3 tenths and just like it sounds 3 tenths notice this is not repeating so this is different this is a different quantity than 3333333.3333 repeating 0.33333 is bigger than just 0.3 because 0.3 is the same as 0.30, right? That's where that stops. There are just zeros from here. And in this case, right here, there were threes that kept repeating. Okay, so just like it sounds with our decimal, remember we, we've kind of advanced a little more now, and we can just say 3 tenths is the same as 3 over 10. 3 tenths. Okay. And then our percent, all we have to do is move the decimal two places to the right. One, two, that gives us 30. Slap on the percent sign and we're done. Okay, that, that one was easy. That's something that we've been doing, but I just wanted to contrast that with uh, the 0.333 repeating, okay? All right, so this is uh, something else uh, we that you may see, and this is 66.6% .6 repeating. All right, so let's attack this as a decimal first. And the way we can do that is move it two places to the left. Remember, that's the strategy that we use, two places to the left and remove the percent sign. And that's going to leave us, right now we have 66.6% re repeating. That repeating is key. So we'll move the decimal place two places to the right. That gives us... 0.666 remove the percent sign okay now we can apply our same rule notice that this right here I need to use some other colors so we can highlight this this right here okay can be rewritten as with our notation that we discussed the bar notation as 0.6 repeating right just like this example right here so now that we've got that we can use our rule remember what I said what if you have one digit that repeats you just put that over nine and that gives you your fraction right so six over nine which is equivalent to three will go into six two times three will go into nine three times two-thirds and if you do two-thirds in your calculator, I need to redo this because it's not very clear. Two-thirds. Let's just erase that. Redo that so it's nice and clear. Two-thirds. Two-thirds. Okay. And if you do that in your calculator, two divided by three, you'll get 0.66666 as far out as your uh, calculator will go. All right, and we've already got our decimal here, right? Right here, 0 0.6 repeating, 0 0.6 repeating. All right, okay. And now I just threw this in there because this is a nice round. This will give us a nice round fraction, and uh, but it will have something to the right of the decimal point in the percent the way that we do that because remember to go from a decimal to a percent what do we do we move our decimal which way to the right two places right and then we add a percent sign so let's put that right here one two five 
over decimal one two places that leads us to 12.5 and add a percent okay so there's our answer right there for the percent 12.5 notice that we have something to the right of the decimal and the percent and that's okay all right and then as a fraction uh, the way that we can attack that is you can go either way um, remember from our maybe the easiest for you we'll see um, what I would think would be easier is to use remember in our decimal uh, basics video we discuss what each place was this is the the one is in the tenths place the two is in the hundredths place the five is in the thousandths place so just like we could write uh, this as three tenths is the same as three over ten we can write this when we say this correctly it's a hundred and twenty five thousandths right hundred twenty five thousandths and just like we say three tenths here saying this correctly hundred twenty five thousandths means we can put that over 1000 right so we'll start I'm gonna do it over here so we can reduce it 125 over 1000 okay and now let's just start uh, breaking that down 25 will let's just start with something easy 25 will go into this um, let's see five times right so let's that reduces to five and 25 will go into this uh, 40 times over 40 now we can use 5 to reduce this 5 goes into 5 one time goes into 48 times okay 1 8 1 8 okay now let's prove that to ourselves 1 8 1 divided by 8 right let's just make sure that equals 0.125 as a decimal 1 divided by 8 8 goes into 1 0 times, so we've got to put a decimal. 8 goes into 10 1 time. 1 times 8 is 8. We have 2 left over. Bring down another 0, 20. 8 goes into 22 times. 8 times 2 is 16. 4 remaining. Bring down another 0. We have 40. 8 goes into 40 5 times. 8 times 5 is 40. 0 remainder. We're done. 0 0.125. 0 0.125. So we've checked that, right? Okay, now for this example, 56.25%. Uh, All right, so again, to take it to a decimal, we can just move the decimal place two places to the right, remove the percent sign, so we get 0.5625, right? 5625. And the way we can do that as a fraction, this is this is going to be a lot bigger one. Um, you could do 56.25 over 100. You could do just like our percent says, right? 56.25 over 100. Or the correct way to do this would be, uh, this is actually going out one place further. It would be 56, 20, 500, 5,625 ten thousandths, right? Because it's tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, then hundred thousandths, etc. Okay, so this is a little bit bigger fraction, but the same process applies. 56, 25 over 1,000. Okay, something like that, we're going to use the calculator on. Okay, and we need to correct this. It's ten thousandths, not thousandths, right? Need another zero there, ten thousandths. Okay, let's bring the calculator up. 56.25 out of 10,000 is 56.25, right? So that checks out. Now let's reduce that. All right, so I went ahead and reduced that down to 9 sixteenths. I did um, divided each of these by 5. That was something that popped out. And then divided each of these by 25 and got 9 sixteenths to reduce. Okay, we're running out of time on this video, so we're going to uh, have to move quickly. So 62 and 1 half percent is the same as 62.5. 62.5, right? 62 and 1 half percent is the same thing. We just convert one half into a decimal, and that makes that a lot easier to attack. So I'm just going to finish filling this out so we don't run over our 15-minute 15 15 limit, 15 limit for YouTube here. All right, you can see I've 
uh, reduce that fraction down 625 over a thousand and sorry for the uh, time limit here and see you in the